All right, well, uh, we're getting grinchy tonight, and um, I have some some fun facts that I bet you didn't know all of. I bet you're right. Um, which yeah. is kind of interesting. So, um, the Grinch, which uh, was created, of course, by Dr. Seuss, uh, Theodore Ted Geisel mm -hmm. is his real name. That's not one of my little facts. Um, but there he is right there. Mm. The Grinch first appeared in a poem in Red Book, of all things, in 1955 called The Hubub and the Grinch. Um, in 1957, he decided to take the Grinch and put him in the center of his own book, which was based on Dr. Seuss feeling fairly Grinchy himself mm. about Christmas at the time due to his wife's ill health and the fact mm. that he thought the holiday was becoming too much about presents. So, a uh, little self self uh, portrait there. Um, here's a fun thing. So, the original animated special was animated by Chuck Jones. And if you don't know Chuck Jones, he was a huge Looney Tunes. He basically, his depiction of Bugs Bunny and what we think of Bugs Bunny is, uh, and many of the Looney Tunes characters is thanks to Chuck Jones. And it's kind of fun to see the animation of the Grinch. We just watched it, what, two nights ago mm -hmm. um, again? And just just brilliant. The like, yeah. the animation is, is great. Which then we show the kids Bugs Bunny. Our kids really didn't know. They who didn't Bugs, know who Bugs they Bunny know who was. Bugs like, Bunny was. That's, that's a fail. That's a parenthood fail. But they actually it? loved him pretty immediately. That was kind of cute. Yeah. I was hold, like, are, is this outdated? Holds and up. They didn't care. He's kind of mean it. though. He's kind of yeah, mean. He is He's, mean. Yeah, he is kind of mean. Yeah. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Messes people up. Poor Yosemite Sam and Elmer Fudd. Um, okay, so what's uh, another little fun fact is that Ted and um, Chuck Jones worked together during World War II. Hmm. Did you know that? No, I they didn't. actually collaborated together on uh, training cartoons hmm. that they worked on for, for the military. The military. Uh, it was Private Snafu series of training cartoons. And they were lighthearted ways to try and teach and inform new soldiers. Oh, wow. So that's how they got connected, um, which was pretty pretty cool. Uh, here's a fun another fun fact. Um, t uh, Dr. Seuss wrote all of the lyrics to the songs mm. in the show, and the kids just love the you know you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch, with the was it garlic in your soul or whatever. Yeah, it's the, great. The, the lines are awesome. Yeah. Uh, so, but. Uh, Dr. Seuss wasn't particularly musical, so the uh, deep, that deep voice that you're a mean one, you know, mm -hmm. that is uh, by Thurl Ravenscroft, mm -hmm. who was actually the original voice of Tony the Tiger as I, well. I recognize him. Yeah. Do you recognize yeah, that? Yeah. Tony the Tiger? or well, the... No, this guy. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so that, I, thought, I didn't know that. That was, that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, and then the, uh, the narrator of in, in the Grinch, not the, the mm. song, but the narrator and the Grinch is the same voice, and that is the voice of Boris Karloff, mm -hmm. um, which, if you don't know, is the guy who played uh, Frankenstein's monster. Right. Um, and he also played the mummy in the, those old mm. Hollywood, or, uh, uh, yeah, those old monster movies. Classic so, names. Pretty, yeah, yeah. Pretty, Pretty cool. I, I don't have the number in front of me, but this the, this came out after the Charlie Brown Christmas with okay. Charles Schultz, and the budget for theirs was way higher. Like they were for, trying for who's? for, for uh, the Grinch. Oh, so they were the, okay. CBS was trying to like match, mm -hmm. and they the saw success. the success of the the Charlie Brown one, and so they mm -hmm. tried to take it to the next level. And and you can tell the animation is is like next level. What year did it come out? Uh, you know? that's a good question. Yeah. I don't know that. Um, we'll see who can oh, find 1966, it. Oh, 1966. 1966. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. All right. What else do I got? Uh, oh, so even though this special was only 25 minutes long without commercials, uh, the book is not actually long enough for, mm -hmm. for that. So the action scenes were used to stretch mm -hmm. out the story. So the, the section where uh, Grinch and Max are going down Mount Crumpet and that whole scenario is basically filler to yeah. fill time um but was done 
I love actually Very well. towards right. the beginning where the Who's are like getting all their festivities ready and they have their instruments and they have like there's almost like a parade thing going mm -hmm. and that's one of my favorite parts. One of my favorite parts that I noticed the other night is when he's going down Mount Crumpet and the, the I think it's at the end um, when he has his change of heart and 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 they're all around the Christmas tree and you can just see in the in the distance all the Who's are lined up. And when he goes down, like four of them f go out like as, as if they're a gate. They just open up and then let him in. And they're all they're all connected like they're a little fence. And then they close yeah. back up once the Grinch gets in there. So well, you know, now knowing that he was kind of going through some you know holiday blues, especially thinking about it being maybe too present focused, the the story means more to me because it really is like basically. They had Christmas without the presents, and that was kind of the whole point at the end, right? Yeah, so don't, kind don't of need the presents. Yeah, they yeah. Still, it still came. So uh, one more little fact, and this one I had to like, I did like a, wait, seriously? So the uh, in the book, the Grinch is white. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Have they changed they, that yeah. since? Uh, I don't know. They may have done re redones, yeah, I'm sure, Helen redos. Says, yes, but she knows. Uh, yeah. back when the animation came out, color television was still fresh and exciting. So they wanted a color special. And uh, it's the TV special where the Grinch was first colored green and has become canonical for the character. Wow. That so that was interesting. Yeah. They just thought it would be more visually or, you know, give them a more brand. more flashy, yeah. yeah. So I, I would imagine. Uh, Dr. Seuss signed off on that. It was like, what color? Would you imagine if he was That's like big blue or yeah. orange, you know? I mean, I mean, it makes sense with the green for Christmas. But you were just saying the other day how this sort this of color. lime green now has become adopted as uh, a, a Christmassy decor. color. I was in Hobby Lobby and there was a whole aisle with this color. And it was like, there was a lot of Grinch stuff in that aisle. And it's almost become like its own section of decor with this color, yeah. which I think... I, who knows what, if it's like inspired by the Grinch or who knows? But, yeah, because yeah. because traditionally the uh, the green was more of a pine green to fit mm -hmm. like the Christmassy tree, yeah. that kind of vibe. So that's um, and wreaths and whatnot. So mm -hmm. some fun facts. Anything that stood out to you there about uh, well, the Grinch? Yeah, I mean it's kind of neat to know that they were kind of looking to match or beat the peanut special. So that's kind of an interesting thought process yes um i'm curious where the success of this book was with dr seuss's other successes so That's a good question you know, was i this kind of at the early part of I, his, his well and I, I was reading his biography a year or so ago and i was amazed to learn that cat in the hat and the grinch he was really far in his career before yeah. those took off like yeah. it, he he had done a lot of books and was he was he made a pretty good living as an illustrator and things like that, but the the fame and the mega success happened mm -hmm. way later. So I was it was kind of interesting. So yeah. there's hope for all of us, you know. We've been talking about the Grinch ever since we started our business because he really is the ultimate success story when it comes to adultitis, and it's kind of cute to know that maybe. It was even part of that with the origins of the story yes. with, with the actual author. So that's yeah, cool. Yeah, pretty cool.